Live from our Milwaukee studios with stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News. Our big story 10, motivating the masses. Polls consistently show that voters have already made up their minds in the governor's recall election. With so few undecided voters to sway, the political parties are figuring out how to get the voters to the polls. Fox 6's Mike Lowe has more in tonight's political lowdown. I'm just telling you to vote. At Bethesda Baptist Church in Milwaukee, the pastor is talking politics. Get out. Gregory Lewis is one of several Milwaukee ministers encouraging their congregations to vote in the upcoming recall election. Asking people to vote and not telling them who to vote for, I think that's quite nonpartisan. At the same time, Anita Johnson, a community organizer working with the progressive group Citizen Action, went door to door. Um, on these cards, you will pledge to vote. Providing people with registration information and election details. Tell everybody. Everybody, they need to vote on June 5th. Recent polls show the race for governor could be close. Both Tom Barrett. But I think the real test is going to be June 5th. Who gets their voters out on June 5th? Across the state of Wisconsin. This and Scott Walker. And I'm asking for your vote on June 5th. For me. Say the election will come down to which side gets its base to cast ballots. Democrats say they have 35,000 volunteers statewide. We have no lack of energy on our side. Republicans are ratcheting up their get out the vote efforts. Volunteers have made more than 2 million calls in the first five months of the year. Republican intensity is obviously very high high in the state of Wisconsin. The entirety of the campaign is being sure that your base turns out to vote. UWM professor Mordecai Lee says this is a rare election where advertising Tom Barrett may not matter. In normal politics, persuading the undecideds is what the main focus of a campaign is. Here we are in this peculiar situation where 95% of Wisconsinites have made up their mind. And Walker has a huge fundraising advantage with about $25 million compared to about $1 million for Tom Barrett. Walker says, though, just about as much money will be spent by outside groups supporting Barrett. But Barrett says he believes this could be a rare election in which the better funded candidate does not win Barrett. And also interesting, there is such a small percentage of undecided voters. They really feel if they can get that little number that that could really tilt the difference. Absolutely. And what they're really focusing on is getting the people who've already made up their minds to actually go out and cast the ballot for the, for the candidate that they're supporting. Mm -hmm. And then the, there will be a fight for that sliver in the middle. Sure. All yeah. right, Mike, thanks. Yeah. Fox 6 has complete coverage of the recall race. You can always find the latest info on our website, fox6now.com. The election, by the way, is June 5th. A Milwaukee woman says it's not at all like her father to disappear, but that's exactly what he did.